Hey y'all, so today we're going to chop and slice some veggies with the Hamilton Beach food processor. So I personally like testing out food processors and food chopper with onions. They're the hardest one to get a consistent chop and so it, to me it's the best way to figure out if it's a good food processor or not. So I like that it has the pulse function, which makes it easy just to move everything around. And then it's got two speeds that are consistent, a one and a two. So I'm actually only gonna utilize the first speed here because I really just don't wanna pulverize these onions. I actually need them for dinner later. But you can see it really doesn't take long to get a really good chop on everything. I'm also gonna add right here that I've had this exact food processor since 2016 and it still is going strong. The blade is nice and sharp and I use this a lot. I am honestly so impressed and so surprised that this is still hanging out with me. All right, let's slice some things. So this blade is really cool. It's got a slice on one side and a grate on the other. So all you have to do is put it on the correct side. It's a little counterintuitive, but the wavy side for the slicer is actually the up side. Basically, whatever side is sticking up is the side it's going to use. So it's nice because it just sits right on top and then you use the same exact lid. I love the plunger that goes in it. It just makes it super convenient and super easy to use. So slicing is super, super easy with this food processor. So vegetables go in the chute, use the plunger, not your fingers, and that's it. Look how quick that just took care of all of those onions. Like I also have a mandolin and this just puts it to absolute shame. I absolutely love how well this slices everything. The only thing I will say is because the blade sits a little bit lower that sometimes I do have an issue with it not getting the last bit of the vegetable, but honestly, at the end of the day, it saves me so much time I don't even care. One last feature that I absolutely love that they did here is they put these little suction cup feet on the bottom. So it helps it not only stabilize, but it also keeps it nice and quiet versus just putting little feet on the bottom. It keeps it from vibrating, it keeps it still, and it just helps me maintain control of the whole base. Needless to say, this is one of the best investments I have made in my kitchen, and I am so glad that I bought this.